Once again, Siren Head has invaded the GTA dimension, but this time with a twist. That's right, it's actually me, Steve. Today, myself and Siren Head will be swapping bodies for 24 hours. One of us is going to be stuck in the body of one of the most evil entities in the entire multiverse, and the other one's gonna be stuck in the body of Siren Head. <laughs> Dad joke. But who exactly is disguised behind this siren head mask? Oh, it's the like button. Go ahead and give him a click. Hold on to your siren head disguised butts because the adventure is about to begin. Right, Guido, so we are well on our way to the last location where Siren Head was sighted. A creepy, abandoned farm which hasn't seen any activity for years. It seems that this dimension is finally forming a resistance against Siren Head. People are literally helping us out with maps and other helpful information. We may be able to put a stop to Siren Head once and for all. Um, Steve? Are you sure that map is reliable? Would Siren Head really hang out outside of a farm that makes cherry pies? Yes, those are his favorite food. Apart from random travelers and people getting lost in the forest, cherry pie is his most favorite food to eat. All right, so here we are at the abandoned farm, the last sighting of Siren Head. I better go ahead and get a gun ready just in case he decides to jump out from one of these buildings. Dude, this is insanely creepy, but it is the only time we could possibly catch Siren Head off guard. We need to make sure we're checking our corners checking every single hiding space just in case he's waiting to jump out at us. And Guido, how about the second part of our plan? Wait, we have a plan? That's not like us. Oh, Guido, we already discussed this at the checkpoint this morning. Oh, maybe he's in this porta potty. As soon as Siren Head appears, I want you to use our brand new technology to possess him. If Mesa keeps insisting on teleporting him into this dimension, then that means he has complete control over Siren Head. The only way to go ahead and get that control back is if we take over his body ourselves. Uh, Guido, what the heck is going on here? I thought this place was totally abandoned. It looks like all the lights are on and... Dude, what the... Oh my gosh! Dude, there he is, Siren Head. It looks like Mesa has finally done it. He has completely teleported Siren Head into this world. And although the plan seemed rather simple when I thought of it this morning, now I'm starting to have regret... Here we go. Wait, what? No. Guido! No! <sighs> Oh, thank goodness, Guido. It was just a dream. I am safe and sound back at my apartment. That's right, all of that crazy baloney talk about becoming Siren Head simply wasn't true. I must have just been dreaming a horrible nightmare. Uh, do you think I should tell him, adventurers? Oh my goodness, Guido. Are you kidding me? I'm actually Siren Head. Oh my goodness, dude. I am absolutely hideous. Everyone in this dimension is going to be absolutely terrified of me. Now, that possession technology I created wears off in 24 hours. So while we've got an entire day to do what we want, we may as well make good use of it. Guido, we have this entire city to do whatever we want in, including stealing a car. I bet you've never seen Siren Siren Head like this. Okay, so Siren Head is, oh my gosh, look at his driving technique. This is absolutely incredible. He's just hot wiring the car and <laughs> he sits on top of the car and drives around the city like this. It looks like his hands have just gone straight. Oh, watch out there, Siren Head. Oh, his head almost got clipped off there. Yeah, he literally sticks his hands through the roof of the car and steers the car that way. Oh my gosh, be careful, Siren Head. Jeez. Clearly, he hasn't got his driving license yet. This is an outrage. Siren Head demands that you let him onto the roller coaster. Oh, you know what? Fine. Let's try check out the Ferris wheel. Let's see how the Ferris wheel does. Okay, Siren Head is very excited here. Let's see exactly if we're allowed onto this thing. Ferris wheel is closed. Oh, for goodness sake, it is clearly not closed. 
Go, Siren Head! Take this guy down! Chase him to the ends of the earth! Come back here, you con man! Man, Guido, it feels like everyone is ignoring poor Siren Head! Fine. I don't need you guys to have fun. Let's go ahead and head out into the water ourselves because there is a jet ski with my name on it. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Let's see exactly how Siren Head drives these. Oh my goodness me. This is absolutely incredible. Look at his wet butt. That is not something I thought I would have said this morning when I woke up. But anyway, look at this Guido. Siren Head, or me rather, is having the time of his life. Whoa, what a jump. Siren Head is getting mad air on this jet ski here. He's probably the best jet ski boy ever to live. Yo, Siren Head, has anyone ever told you that you could do this professionally? Oh, there's a big wave right there. Let's see if we can jump off it. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh, amazing! Oh, watch out! Oh my goodness! We just almost wiped out everyone's stuff at the beach here. Guido, here is another activity which I never thought I'd see Siren Head do. We are currently sightseeing from the top of Mount Chiliad. And of course, we can't just leave it at that. We can also do a little bit of mountain biking. Okay, let's go ahead and grab one of these bikes. I'm very curious to see again how Siren Head rides a bike. Okay, I don't know what I was expecting. Let's try safely bring this thing down the mountain. Here we go. And uh, yeah, this seems like an appropriate spot. Whoa! Oh my goodness, Siren Head. Okay, stick the landing. Okay, just clip the tire a little bit. That's fine. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's not okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, just hop back aboard. Absolutely nothing to worry about, Siren Head. You are still a beginner. Okay, let's start heading down again, just like this. And oh, dude, this is hilarious. But you know what? Recently, I've actually been feeling quite bad for Siren Head. He's had to... Oh my goodness. He's not having a good time. And now he's falling through the void. What the heck is going on here? Oh, oh, watch out for this helicopter here. It looks like the police are monitoring you. Or maybe this is like a news helicopter. It looks like they may be coming down for a landing. Um, what are they doing? All right, buddy, look, let's go ahead and parachute again, or at least this time, do it properly. There we go, he's rolled off, and let's see if this time he's gonna pull his parachute in time. Okay, any second now, and oh, he's actually done it! Oh, fantastic, a little bit last minute there, but still, that was a pretty big rush, right? Oh, Guido. I think he's sad. I think there's only one thing which will bring Siren Head happiness. Something which he's never really had. Love. All right, Siren Head. I've got to say that this place you've picked, you know, the industrial area, isn't exactly the best place to pick up some hot babes. But, uh, sure, if this is your preference. Uh, okay, Siren Head, there's two people here. Let's see if you can impress them. Just use your imagination. Oh my gosh, what the heck is he doing? Dude, he's got a gun. Uh, no, Siren Head, this is not right. The best thing to do to get yourself a life partner is not to start firing a gun. Look, they are literally swimming away to get away from you. Ah, here we are, the gym. This is the perfect spot to impress people. All you need to do is head in there, start lifting some iron, start working out, and people are bound to be impressed. Show me what you've got. All right, nice. Yes, yeah, start doing some sit-ups. There we go. Work those out. Abs. This is absolutely fantastic, dude. Look, that guy over there is really impressed. Oh, push-ups, dude. Nice. Everyone's watching your biceps, your chest muscles. Everyone is uh, super impressed. Um, no, they're not, Steve. Oh, Guido, really? That's what you're going to do for his self-confidence? Come on, give him a break. All right, Guido, this is it. We found ourselves a nice restaurant. This place is going to be chock full of people waiting to be impressed by my new friend, Siren Head, right here. Ah, uh, Steve, what is he doing? What do you think he's doing, buddy? He's dancing at all the people inside there. And listen to their reaction. Oh, I think... I think they're laughing at him. All right, Siren Head, just calm down, buddy. Think happy thoughts, okay? They're laughing with you, not at you, okay? Just please. Dude, chill out. Uh, Guido, what is he doing? Oh my goodness, Guido. It looks like Siren Head has lost control. He is super mad. I really thought we were getting somewhere, buddy. I thought we were making some positive changes in his life. Oh, he just got hit by a car. But instead, it looks like Siren Head has turned as evil as ever. 
I was just trying to help him. Oh, Guido, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can do this. I'm going to need you to use that technology once again to get me back into my old body. I'm sorry, Siren Head, but at this rate, we are never going to be friends. So as much as it pains me to say, this is where we say goodbye.